Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Coming Home. Today I'm going to show you how I totally nailed this stenciled rug on the first try. Look how, <laughs> just kidding. There were some bumps in the road. <laughs> I've told you guys I'm not the best stenciler, but I'm going to show you how I got from this old ugly floor to this beautiful stenciled rug and a couple of the tips and tricks I learned along the way. If you're brand new here, make sure you click that little subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it. That's going to notify you every time I upload a new video. Right now that is Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Today is part of a collab with my good friend Jasmine over at Handcrafted From Home. We are doing a Farmhouse Friends Go Boho bathroom makeover. This is episode number two. I will link episode number one up above so you can check that out. But also make sure you check the description box down below for Jasmine's info and hop on over there to watch her video next. Today, I also want to talk a bit about finding your strength through your struggles and finding the beauty in where you are at right now. If you missed episode one, I want to take an opportunity to expand the recovery community within the DIY community. Jasmine came up with a great hashtag it's deeper than DIY and it really is. I have found an amazing group of women through this community and after everybody's comments I learned that the need for this topic is there and I cannot wait to continue this journey with you guys. I'm going to start with a few quick repairs on this floor. So it was old linoleum as you can see and last year we painted over it. I will show you the paint here in a bit. I'm using Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty and I'm filling here what I like to call the nasty pea catchers. <laughs> Sorry to be gross, but let's be honest. There was just some big like dips in the concrete from where an old floor was torn out. We didn't do it, but I'm going to fix it a bit. So you can see this really does dry rock hard. You literally just mix the powder with water. It turns into this putty. I used a little wooden scraper to apply it evenly and it all was dry in just a few hours. Now I am painting over the water putty with some of the floor paint, just using a little sponge applicator. It's the paint we used on the floor last year. It's okay. Um, we didn't prime the floor, so that was our bad. I can't really give you a recommendation because we didn't really do it right. But. <laughs> After the floor is all touched up, look how nice and fresh and clean it looks. Today I'm using my Jamie Ray Moroccan stencil and we are going to put a cool design on the floor. First time ever I've stenciled on the floor, not gonna lie, we're gonna do it together. Eventually we are going to refinish the floor down in the basement, but we've got some old dogs that, um, you know, like to do their business on the floor sometimes. So even though I would love to have some dreamy Moroccan tile in that bathroom, um, it leads in from the pool. So I want those boho vibes, but you know what? I'm going to find the beauty and where I'm at right now, which is a painted concrete floor, but we are going to stencil it beautifully and use those Moroccan tiles for some inspiration. I used some of this frog tape to mark off my area. It is 26 by 38 inches. And here I have DIY faded burlap. We are going to use it to paint a base. I wanted to remind you that maybe you are not where you want to be. Maybe that's your recovery journey. Maybe you are also a business owner, but I want you to find the beauty in where you are at right now. I want you to think about the simple things you can do every day to make your current situation a little more beautiful. So things are going pretty well so far. I'm getting a nice base layer on. I'm about to encounter my first problem and I don't even know it. 
fortunately I have been able to use some of my willpower to not get mad when things like this happen. You're about to see. This is why I'm not a tuber. <laughs> Picking colors is always one of the hardest parts. <laughs> I'm inserting here a couple of inspiration pictures and then I am pouring my final color choices. I've got cherry picked, aviary, petal pusher, and a long legacy paint color in citrine, which is the paint color that Jasmine has a discount code for. And I will link that info down below for you. So math isn't really my thing. I'm cruising along here, right? I'm measuring out the stencil. I decided I needed an inch and a half on each side instead of an inch. You know what? That worked all great and well side by side. Once I started moving vertically, not so much, but we'll get there. I have got my JRV number 24 stencil brush. And you see me giving a thumbs down to these brushes here. I sacrificed for you guys. I left the ones on my website in stock and used some of these not so great brushes, but it's okay. The linoleum pattern in this floor made this stenciling pretty tricky anyway, but we're gonna conquer. I dipped my brush in the aviary and offloaded or removed most of the paint onto this paper towel. Now I am going to gently swirl the brush over this stencil. My stencil master friend, Melissa Morrow, told me I was pushing way too hard last time and not gonna lie, still not perfect this time, but this is how we grow. This is how we get better by doing. And it's just paint, y'all. It's just paint. If it doesn't work, I could always just paint over it. <laughs> Ooh, yikes, a little bit of bleed through. A <laughs> little bit too much paint, not enough patience. We're gonna keep trucking along here. We got this. So I'm making sure I offload my brush a little bit better and I try to take my time, but oh, sometimes patience is hard, y'all, it's hard. Notice the outfit change. So after the second stencil, after the second square, I started moving towards the door and I realized I put my stencils too close. So now my measurements were gonna be off and I got totally frustrated. Honestly, I gave up for the night. I slept on it, came back to it the next morning, decided I'm going to leave the wider space in the middle and the smaller space between the tiles. Totally okay with that. One thing I could not deal with though was all of that bleed through. I'm trying not to take it personally. There was lines in that linoleum floor. The stencil brushes I used were not great, but don't worry, Jamie has new brushes on the way. As soon as she has them released, they will be on my website. I've got the larger brushes available, but I really did need some smaller brushes for this stencil. I'm just going through with the detail brush now and going around the sum of the bleed through with the faded burlap. You can see here where I screwed up my math and I've got too much room on the end of this rug. Now I'm going to fix this by going ahead and taping off some of that faded burlap. And I'm just going to cut my rug a little bit smaller. Then once I do that, I am going to go ahead and just repaint over the gray floor where it needed touched up anyway. So all in all, it worked out fine and I am so glad I did not panic. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we get really frustrated and little things like this derail the whole project. But what I try to focus on is how small of a problem this really is. Like, I've had problems. We've all had problems, right? When something like this comes along, we can handle it. I'm going to be sealing the paint up with Sweet Pickens Top Coat. I love it because it is a very matte finish, but super durable. DIY paint and Sweet Pickens products play so well together, so I was not worried about that. I 
Using that same paint roller and just using very light pressure. Notice that as I'm applying this top coat, my paint's not smearing or smudging because DIY paint really does stick well. Okay, friends, cross your fingers. <laughs> A reminder of what our floor looked like before we started this project. And with a few struggles, we pushed through and got this beautiful result. I totally think we found beauty in where we are right now with this bathroom floor. What do you think? Here's a little hint with the baskets of some of the decor I'll be adding. Thanks for sticking with me today as I tucked out that stencil on the floor. It was a bit of a challenge, but we persevered and we got it done. I think it turned out just beautifully. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up if you are excited for the finale of the Farmhouse Friends Go Boho series next week. I am going to be painting a few smalls and finishing up all the basket displays. I cannot wait to show you guys the final reveal. Exciting news, tomorrow's video is going to be live right here on YouTube, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I am going to be doing a get it done smalls video. I'm going to be doing more stenciling, um, maybe some stamping, maybe some transfers. Maybe some decoupage paper. I don't even know. But make sure you click that notification bell to all so YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video or go live. Until tomorrow, I will see you later. Bye, friends. Excuse me, sir. You're, uh, you're in my shot. Yeah, I am very annoyed that mom will not let me up in the chair. She moved the chair even to a place that's not usually at, and I just really want up there with her, but then I keep making sniffling noises in the mic. She's dealing with it. <laughs>